What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and this video is not exactly a tutorial video or something like that. This is actually to demonstrate a tool that I have built over this past week, not past week, past four days maybe. Uh, this tool was requested by in in Ball. In in Ball. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Anyway, this tool was requested by a lot of guys, uh, a lot of subscribers on this channel and hence I decided to do this today. So uh, let's just jump in guys. I think I've been talking too much. Now what this tool does is basically uh, it lets you upload an Excel and uh, I, I'll show you. I'll show you how to use this and uh, you'll also get a better idea of what's happening here. So first just clone this tool from my github repo which I have done here myself as well and then simply run an npm install to install the dependencies okay now that this has been installed just give cd functions and then install this as well we are going to be using cloud functions in order to convert the excel sheet into uh, a json file guys using this library from steve tarver excel as json right this library is the one we are going to be using to convert the excel sheet that uh, we receive as input into a JSON file, which will uh, then be uh, read by our program. Uh, I mean, the code which we wrote for in Angular and then uh, stored onto Firebase, not Firebase, Cloud Firestore. That's what we are trying to do here, guys. So, uh, yeah, in order to accomplish that, I am simply running npm install inside the functions directory, which will then be deployed into the uh, Cloud functions, Firebase Cloud functions. Okay, this has been done as well. Uh, so the next command to give would be Firebase deploy hyphen hyphen only functions. Now I'm not going to hit enter because I've already deployed fun this function onto my uh, cloud functions. But uh, you, you need to do this in order uh, to make this code work. Okay, so uh, once this has run, once this has been deployed, that's all you need to do. Just get out of this functions directory and give ng serve. Okay. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to mention one detail. Uh, you need to get into uh, the code actually and then uh, open up your Firebase project, get into authentication web setup, copy this configuration, copy, sorry, copy this configuration, get into environments directory inside the source directory source app environments and inside this environment.ts file paste your configuration here once this is done uh, you can simply close this close this as well and then run ng serve okay now that uh, the app is served let's see what we have in store for us the first thing you'll see is a very simple screen with no styling. Uh, it just has two fields. One is the email and the other is the password field. Uh, this will add a user in order to log in for this. So this will be uh, excel user at test.com and a password for him as well. Okay. Now we'll use this Excel user, right? Excel user. The reason I made this uh, authentication thing was uh, in storage, if you notice, or uh, in storage, if you notice, we are be, we'll be making use of cloud fire storage as well. So in storage, if you notice, only authenticated users are allowed to upload or uh, upload files inside them. So that's the reason why I created this authentication, uh, especially for this particular tool. Uh, and then I'll do login, choose an Excel file that I have already. Uh, this I got from this Steve Carver, Tarver again. So it has three rows. I'll show this file as well. Now, if you notice, we receive a message called uploading, right? Let's see what the file contains. Okay, this file contains three rows of data, first name, last name and uh, address.street, address.city, and address.state, and address.zip. So basically the first name and last name should be two uh, fields and then uh, there should be a common field called address and all these dot .street, dot .city, dot .state, and dot .zip should be subfields uh, sub under that particular field, right? 
uh, like this right here show you he had used the same example so this is the example and the json file would look like this so this is exactly how it should be stored in our firestore as well let's see what happens we received a message called stored right let's get into store uh, sorry firestore refresh this you will notice a new collection called my call my call my collection that's what my call i like gave so uh, if i click on this i receive all the i get all the three uh, documents stored i mean three where is it three rows right so this row is document 0 this row is document 1 and this row is document 2 and uh, i get the same data as well as well as the uh, address as a object address as an object inside this particular object inside this particular document right so in this way you can uh, store all your how to say store all your uh, data from your excel sheet inside your uh, firestore using the simple tool it's, it it was just like clicking on import and then uh, choosing your excel file and then you had to wait for one minute exactly uh, then after the after a minute has gone all your data would be stored inside uh, firestore under the my uh, collection right so in order to change the name of collection if in case you wanted to change the name of collection or how the documents were referenced just go here get into the services directory there is a services directory here right get into that and then there is an excel to firestore.service.ts right get into that here i have given the my call and uh, document so if you uh, change this you will get the name of the collection that you want and then if you simply run the code and then uh, give uh, import file choose the excel file uh, it will automatically uh, push the data from the excel file inside uh, into your firestore uh, the cloud firestore okay that's what i wanted to show you guys today i hope this tool is useful to you guys a lot of people were asking me for this especially for how to move data from excel file inside a excel file to a firestore or from a csv file to a firestore i thought maybe i could share this with you today uh, this is very simple guys you just need to install angular cli that's all you saw what happened right what i did right you just had to install angular cli that's all and everything else i just showed you np just clone the repo npm install cd into functions again npm install and then simply run ng serve select the file don't run ng serve uh, give the configuration of your firebase app inside the environments environment.ts then simply run ng serve and then import choose your file it will automatically get pushed into uh, firestore so yeah if you like this video if you like this tool especially hit on the thumbs up button if you would like to see more cool stuff like this kindly subscribe it's free right just subscribe just click on the subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye